The deception of Prophet Muhammad, seen in Quran ayats against idolaters and those whom they worship, showing you to what extent we have been fooled by Prophet Muhammad and the Quran ayats, uh, starting from Surah Furqan, ayat uh, 1, because you know Furqan means criterion by which you judge what is right right from wrong, truth from falsehood, things like that, how to worship, what is the true way to worship, and what is the false way to worship. Surah Furqan Ayat 1 Blessed is he who sent down the criterion upon his servant, that he may be to the world worlds a warner. And uh, here we have the abridged explanation of the Quran ayat. So again just uh, to reconfirm a bridge the explanation of the Quran ayat here given here. Blessed is Allah who revealed to reveal the Quran as a standard distinguishing between truth and falsehood to this uh, messenger of his so that he could warn uh, the worlds. And now ayat 2 of Surah Furqan he to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth, and who has not taken a son, and has not had a partner in dominion, and has created each thing and determined it with the precise determination. So what I'm going to prove wrong here is uh, this part of the verse uh, has not had a partner in dominion, through Quran ayats. I'm not going to read the whole Surah Araf Ayah 158, but uh, what is important uh, for this. Say, O Muhammad, O mankind, indeed I am the Messenger of Allah to you all, to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. So without uh, these bracketed words from him, this would mean to Allah, from Allah, I did not read this. Reason being that in the ayat itself, it doesn't have from him. You can see, I'll just uh, bring the ayat here. The Arabic uh, word by word says, Say, O mankind, indeed I am the messenger of Allah to you all, the one for whom is the dominion of the heavens and the earth. So this, reading the Quran like this, word by word, Arabic would mean that uh, to Rasulullah, the Messenger of Allah belongs, the dominion of the heavens and the earth. See here, uh, the one for whom does not mean the one Allah or your one Lord for whom is the dominion of the heavens and the earth. Many English uh, or translators of the Quran in English and other languages perhaps may make this mistake. I've seen it in English uh, translation of this Quran ayat that they think the one uh, is Allah and that's why they capitalize the O of one but it actually is for the Messenger of Allah to whom belong the dominion of the heavens and the earth. Okay, again, just to make sure you correct this, uh, Surah Araf, Ayat 158, uh, it's not from him, but on the left side, the one for whom is the dominion of the heavens and the earth. So this in bracket should not be put that is from him, meaning from God. So that uh, the it would mean from him, from God, to whom belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth. To God it would mean belongs. And then Surah Taqweer, in Surah Taqweer, Ayats 19, 20 and 21, we are told that there is a messenger uh, uh, this uh, the word is from this messenger, possessor of power, with the honor of the throne, secure in position, 
or in rank with the owner of the throne obeyed and uh, with authority that's what is said in these three ayats but I've just given two ayats and haven't given 19 of Surah Taqweer uh, just to ca clarify a point here in Surah Furqan ayat 2 and Surah Araf ayat 158 both in both the, it says the one who to him belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth so here in Surah Araf verse 158 um, I want you to see that you would not take it as uh, to Allah belongs the dominion of the heavens and the earth so please have a hard and good look at these both ayats so that you would not mistake Surah 7158 for what it says in Surah Furqan verse 2 that to Allah belongs uh, the dominion of the heavens and the earth and you would not misread it uh, in uh, Surah 7 Ayat 158 and if you now don't believe me in this I can take you back to Surah Taqweer Ayats 19, 20 and 21 and show you that they're again uh, showing you that there is a possessor a messenger other than Allah who is the possessor of power with uh, the Lord of the throne which would mean uh, in the rank with the Lord of the throne uh, to be obeyed ayat 21 and uh, I think it is uh, trustworthy yeah. so here are the ayats Surah Taqweer Ayat 19 Verily this is the word of a most honorable messenger Ayat 20 Endowed with power with rank before the Lord of the throne 21 With authority and faithful to his trust I just didn't read there because in the original Ayat it does not say there Anyways, uh, this I haven't checked much, uh, but I don't think it would make much of a difference. So back to Surah Furqan Ayat 2, has not had a partner in dominion this part. Uh, so you can see Surah Taqweer, you can compare it uh, with the Surah Taqweer Ayats 19, especially 20 and 21. So there is this honorable messenger, Ayat 19, Surah Taqweer, endowed with power, with rank, before the Lord of the throne, and 21, with authority there, and faithful to his trust. This would mean that he, this messenger is in rank with Allah, the Lord of the throne. And this is what this verse means in Surah Taqweer. So please do not get fooled by what is shown in the Quran ayats like Surah Furqan verse 2. So in conclusion the Quran ayats are quite uh, messy and incoherent um, against the idolaters this, against the belief, uh, for the believers that so but uh, my attempt is to show you step by step, step from the Quran ads, how incoherent and messy the whole book is.